Last time. Ignore the state of my desk. I'm going to die again, aren't I? Of course. And then I got really fucking tilted and quit. The journey continues. Oh my god. Welcome everybody. Welcome. My name is Rebellions and a weather alert's in effect. So with very little else to do. Let's fucking recover from this. What the fuck? Right, right, right. I... I know what I need to do to make that stop happening, but it just, like, doesn't matter at all, so. One moment. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Don't play so nice with the white. Anyways. I think I was thinking at the time that all three of these know how to cast ice and those skulls don't like ice, but that's not laying so good. Uh, we tried... Memory serves, we tried lust. Nothing here really cares about it. I think making the alteration just have a yeah here is gonna be fine. Anyways, right, you lot. <laughs> I remember you. I'm not gonna like this. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. At least it's somebody who got to move. I just realized Uyaya is probably going to get stunned to death. really have a good way to deal with this, like, at all. Ooh, didn't. These things are very quick. Mm. Can't escape, unlike with the spiders. Uh-huh. 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 Now Simon gets everybody back up, so it's fine. Uh, Robin's faster, so... Huh? So it's gonna be permanently on support allies for this. Maybe, not sure. Okay. I mean, I think that went a little better, but it's been a minute, so... And by that, I mean, like, a day or something. Uh, might as well record the rest of this dungeon crawl ahead of time. You know, I didn't think I could actually do that. Dwarven pastry times three, but these ones are actually good. Okay. Uh, I believe there was something this way. No, that's where I bought the reality leech before. Before I turned this. I already grabbed this. Uh hmm. Yeah, so last time I, I got super infuriated because I was not in the mindset for a dungeon crawl. It's not what I came here expecting to happen.
And now we've got these fucking birds that have that status I still can't deal with. Uh, getting blasted our way. I didn't even know you could dodge that. Yeah, the problem is Yaya needs to go into one of her auras to really... for any of her shit to matter. Nice! Less that. I forgot that that could do that. Healing aura... Now it gets rid of that! What? I specifically remember trying healing aura against Void Touch in the last episode, and it didn't do anything! Okay. So now it just gets rid of nothing. Does that proc on chance or something? Okay. Alrighty then, you do you, game. So I do have a way to get rid of it, but it's just gotta be like... It's just RNG. That's... Fucking great. Oh, so it does not help me if it's Uyaya herself that gets hit with nothingness. That... Oh, okay. Well, at least one of these things dies. Okay. Uh... Can you stop that, like, please? Alright. Okay, attack, lightning, take down, kill myself. <laughs> What was in this direction that I just kind of ignored? Wait. Wait a minute. Might have something. I probably don't, though. And yes, I saw there was enemy over... I don't know if this is the way I'm supposed to be going or not, like, is the problem. I want to explore this place. Now that I'm in the proper mindset for... Wait. Where's my way back? What? Oh. Okay. Uh, this is more annoying. The, the, these guys are not even particularly annoying. They hit kinda hard, but... None of the stupid skull birds, so... It don't matter. I gotta find a way to boost the IS quick chance. Because she just does not give a fuck and it's beautiful. No. 
Nice, nice, nice. Okay. 77, 76. Uh, now which way is the way I'm supposed to go? Because that's the way I don't want to go. Uh, I guess we continue exploring the path we were on and then come back here and investigate that. I'm sure I'll be warned before I enter the end. Because I still have to search these areas. I just realized... Because of the weather advisory, I'd, I've, I've had my heater on and... I don't know if that got picked up in the background. It usually does when I forget to turn it off before recording or streaming or doing anything. So I hope that wasn't too annoying if it did get picked up. <clears throat> uh, I don't suppose. Yeah, no. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. All right. So I found the three pastries, but it's up here. Right! I remember you! That has to fucking explode. Ice maybe? Or of my Not weak to ice, but it doesn't resist it. You are not supposed to be... Okay, now you're doing that instead of water. What? I don't suppose I can unify your ass, can I? Ooh, yeah, yeah. Good god. You are now dead, because you are nothing on your own. Okay. Yeah, okay, when I'm calm and actually expecting a fight, like, so I'm going in with that mindset, this is much easier than my rampant bitching. This is quite a barrier. We're trying to forge a path somewhere the tower doesn't think there should be a path. I believe there was another route. Let's find a way around. Okay. 888.6. Gotcha. Okay, so outside of that fight, I'd gone as far as I can in this direction until I find a way to open it up over here. Got it. You know, I realized that you could fucking replace this with... You, you could replace this with source wall and get basically the same like you could replace tower with the word source wall and wouldn't be that different just just with more titties <laughs> um given the given what the world is based around though yeah life being based around procreative abilities is like of zero surprise even without it being this type of game I don't know why that's not pathable, but whatever. So I guess we are going this way. Um. Hmm. No right. I gotta go. I don't know why I couldn't just jump from there, but whatever. You do you. All right, what are you? I should have saved before I walked over here. Just because these are. I mean, we have a way to reverse their bolt, uh, to reverse this curse, so... <laughs> Until we don't, because they do it to Uyaya. Uh, why do I even talk? Oh, one's dead. Okay, fine. I'm gonna need you to stop that shit. Uh, you're just on fucking support duty for now. At least Robin gets to move before getting hit with nothingness. So, that's, like, that's not nothing. Doing aura. They are determined to try and stunlock my ass. I'm surprised it didn't work. 
Yeah, no, Healing Aura operates on RNG as to whether or not it removes nothingness, unless Uyaya has to be in an aura for that to go off, but I don't see why that would be related. Because it's Healing Aura, you fucking idiot. God damn it. Because it's called Healing Aura, and it says extend your aura. So yes, she would have to be in an aura for that part to... That was not the hotkey I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Um... Don't worry, guys. I think I figured it out. <sighs> I think I figured out what my problem was. I am so fucking stupid when I'm angry. <laughs> Apparently. Um... Okay, take down... Yeah, these things aren't so bad. Yaya being... Anyone being mandatory for a section, but not act but I'm not actually forced to use them by the game itself is kinda not a thing I'm a fan of. Seriously, this place is nothing but long, lonely paths. I don't want to walk all the way back. No, I think this is a trick. It's like a gate locked from within. Oops. It's like a gate locked from within. No route's gonna lead us there. Father, I think I have the solution. No matter how we pull this knot, it'll grow tighter, but with your help, I believe we could turn it inside out, so to speak. Ah, a very astute observation. I'm um, not sure I understand, but I'll try. One more try. Well done. We better be close to done. Does that mean I have to go back and do it with the other one? Because I'm not sure if I want to make that track. Alright. Show me. Man, now I'm in a fucking con- Well, I'm gonna have this problem where now I'm in the fucking mood for- and now I'm in a combat mindset and I'm gonna be getting into the, like, now I'm just because fuck me, I'm gonna be getting into uh, political chicken money. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that the pale one's not. Oh no, that one's just healing. Oh. I mean, we'll finish you off, I guess, but. Was there a mistake? Because I think that wasn't supposed to be a healer. I'm pretty sure that one was supposed to be one of the ones that one big Oonga Boonga hit for all of my fucking health ones. <laughs> Whatever, I am not going to complain. I thought that was going to be way harder than it was. At least I like... It's the glowing ones that I'm having to fear. Um, this is u useless. Kind of useless, because all it does is heal, but that last one hurts me. The one that was stunned was the only one I don't care about. That's really annoying, but whatever. Dangerous ones defeated. Easy enough. I mean, you can do that if you want to. You can leave your woes behind. Okay! Seventy-eight, seventy-seven. Okay. And we've still learned like nothing. I'm still gonna have Karina top us off between every fight. 
Okay. Glowing Earth Flower. Kill. Kill. Aura. I just... Yeah, it's ice I want to use against these things, not fire. Why'd I do that? Ow. Actually, no, that... That wasn't Flood, so... It didn't even hurt. Okay. I've got such a good, like, handle on those ones that I don't even want to sub in a succubus just to see. And quite a f another seal and quite a formidable one. Lust Lord, fucking damn it! This one isn't a trick like before, but I believe this one's connected to Eustrin. The place to undo it'll be in the tower region more closely connected to them. Of course it is! Earlier I said this area of the tower might be somewhere difficult to reach due to obscurity or non-existence. That no longer seems plausible. Possible. All this distance was created by someone who wants to keep anyone from finding them. Oh, Tertia's alive then. As they should, because after all this walking, I'm gonna stick my sword so far up their ass they won't enjoy it anymore. <laughs> oh, Nalili, you're always good for a smile. Just a little further, Nalili. If we find another shard, it could provide immortality for most of you. Okay, Daddy, I won't complain. <laughs> but that immortality better involve less walking. <laughs> oh my god. She had to throw that word in there. God damn it. Alright. Skull shell. Okay, I forgot to top us off, so that might be an issue. Ice. Activate your aura. Heal the one that isn't. Let's heal her. Okay. Okay. Got what I expected. No, it's gotta be RNG because it didn't. Re fix Riala, but it did fix Simon. I don't know what that it, like. Uh, it just decides. I don't understand. All right, lust renewal. Kill that thing to death. Honestly, just hit someone. Okay. Now you need to uh, get Riella back on her feet. Okay. Unified Strike doesn't really do anything, but Healing Aura is strong. Robin is no longer... Just keep spamming healing aura until it fucking removes the static of... Like... Jesus Christ. Yep. Yep. You are a... I don't like these things. I really don't like that stat... That... It, fuck that status effect. That status effect is... The things that can cast that are the fucking Marlboros of this game. No, they're not, but I have it on good authority that we're almost to that point. Uh, but it, they're Marlboros that come in all shapes and sizes, apparently. Oh, now that barrier's gone. Hmm. Okay, well, at least I don't have to run all the way back around. That does indicate I have to go this way now. Like, I, I'm snaking around to see if anything's different. Would be my guess. Um, I've already been here, but yeah, I didn't think there'd be anything different here. Mm. 
I'm really hungry, but like, I need to keep to the schedule for eating that I've come up with for myself. Which means I gotta make it another app. Another hour before I can eat. What the fuck is the spinny boulder? A floating boulder. The key to the final seal. We're almost there. This lock is one of the most difficult we've seen yet. So many different realms blended together. Everything is very pretty. Too pretty for Cum Dum to understand, but she can help break it. Yes, yeah, so let's finish this. Good. So nothing else stands in her way, or do I gotta find two more of these fucking things? No twists to the tower, at least. Hmm. Interesting. So, at least I'm not being... Please, God, tell me I don't have to go find, like, two more of these. Because I would prefer if this dungeon were over much more quickly, especially since with the theme so far, there's going to be a third, there's probably going to be a third goddamn dungeon space I got to go enter. And I'm really not interested. Am I even walking the right way? I don't rem No. I do remember. No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, so... Yeah, okay. I'm gonna leave Uyaya in here for this first go-around as a safety concern because... The enemies here have been able to hit with massive AoE. Been able to... Uh... It have had a lot of defense. Uyaya excels at both, but most importantly, have been able to cast nothingness. Okay, they're nodes. I don't know why I didn't see that coming. It's always nodes when we reach the end of a tower segment. I'm kind of stupid for not expecting that. Okay, what are you weak to? Okay, no, I've got real. I have lust damage, just in case. I, I should have all forms of damage except anti-lust, which if that's about to hurt me, there's been no reason to have Vala here so, in, in the dungeon so far. So if that's about to hurt me, that's some bullshit design. Cute theory, one small issue, Vala would have saved us from 99% of the very pain and suffering we've been bitching about this entire time and blaming on design. But, we'll try magic on you, activate your aura, we'll also throw magic at you and see, okay, you resist, you resist. You're fun, okay. Take down. We're gonna have you AoE with your rust spells to see which one actually gets hurt. I need to figure out their weakness quick. Okay, you're weak to lust. Got it. What is living water? It's be an asshole to Robin, apparently. Um. Hmm, this is not going great. You just killed all four of us in one spell, didn't you? Super. Okay, so the one on the left is alright into physical, and the one on the right doesn't like lust. Whatever. I'm pretty sure I'm about to drop the reset counter just on the basis of I don't know where the... Uh, like, like... My resets have been happening, so with the exception of this last episode, and now here, have been happening so infrequently that I can never fucking remember where I'm at. Quick aside, I pulled my head out of my ass and just wrote down how many times I fucking died now, so this actually is does not matter. Uh, so I'm probably just gonna drop that counter. Because I wasn't smart enough to, like, have it written on a notepad somewhere that I could update in real time. Um, let me see. Oh, Riala was actually probably... It was probably fine. The one on the right needs to be taken down by Lust Magic, so... 
but I don't see a good spot for Arcane here. So we will swap you in for... Would this work? Or should we... Or should it be Nalili? Because she can then target either. Because I don't want Blade Dance to uncork on the wrong one. Yeah, I like that idea better. Um, let's... Uh, let's have Nalili be in here. Kind of fitting, since she's the one complaining the most. Um... This should be okay. Tower node. Okay, so... Aegis, or of Might. It does, it's weak to loss, but it's resisting. Can we not, like, kill Yaya as soon as she turns on her aura? That'd be great. Weak point, but it was taking no damage. So that one resists physical and loss. Okay. Oh, resists physical, but it's weak to loss. Okay. So Lily's not a good place here. I'm very confused as to why that did no damage to Simon, but he said fuck you to everyone else. And Lily is a horrible choice here, apparently. Okay. I mean, sure. I need to figure out how to start, like, this mixing of damage is actually making it really difficult. Okay, sure. Uh-huh. I, I... Alright. So... Fine, it can't be- they're resistant to arcane, it's gotta be just lust damage, so... And the other one's gotta be just physical, so... It, it can't be a hybridization. So I want Akka, and... Yara. Okay. Hit you! Disable. Activate your aura. Uh, I don't know how how August speed's gonna compare. I mean, not August Yara speed's gonna compare. So I'm gonna. Okay, she is faster than these things. So. Going into support. Why did your stats lower? Did that reflect? Hold up, what did I miss here? Uh, sexual stab. We're just gonna focus down the one that's weak. No, because it resists physical, so sexual stab probably won't work. I, you, honestly, I don't give a shit. We're trying anyways. I had Aka here. I could have tried out Aura of Agility. No, nope, Sexual Stab is just pure Sexual Energy. It doesn't have Physical as an aspect. That did no damage to Yara. What? Okay, so Yara is clearly correct here. Um, the others might not be. That should have been Kiss, not Kainite. Well, there was no shot that we take that, but... Okay. Oh, 
also doesn't help that I wasn't kidding before when I said that I'm like a, a while back when I said that I'm honestly starting that I'm starting to grow bored of the of this gameplay. Um, no, no, I don't want to really. So Yara is definitely correct. Um. Simon can handle the physical damage aspect on the other one as long as we can just get one of these things rushed down. So, Karina maybe? Or should we use Kume? Eh. This is probably fine. It's probably fine. Um, Deepest Strike has a lust aspect to it, so we'll give that a shot. Shield of Purity, Formants, and... Eh, just net neutral there. That took away the team. Interesting. Horde Allies, Shield again. Kiss, and kiss. Why'd that do no damage that time? Hmm. I actually should probably be doing sexual lands for three hours now that I think about it. Okay, revive. No. Torment. Lance. It's a little harder. Port allies, uh, Masiel, Torment, Lance. Because a lot of these fights is just finding the rote memorization that you gotta use. Finding the formation and the relevant rote memorization for that formation. Gets a little dull after a while. Though that's a problem a lot of our teachers have, so it's hardly a condemnation. Uh, no, not guard. King Zora. Mass heal. Kiss. Lance. Okay. Now there's only one left to deal with, and Simon can beat his ass. Okay. Uh, precise strike. Kill yourself. Uh, shared fantasy. Feels like at this point it should not be one for battle, but you do you. Nice. I mean, I'm pretty sure it just resists all magic, but. Okay. Uh, Need this strike. Maybe. We'll give it a whirl. Um, yeah, because I don't have, like, Akka here for you to... I don't have anybody here that will let me use a non-sexual attack. Hmm. Uh, first slot. I'll try Lance on you just to see. Yeah, no. Lust is well, not what I want to use, so Yara is actually not going to be too useful here now, but... She was very good for what needed to be done. So, she's fine. Um, I mean, might as well. It's, it damages damage. Might be better for her to just physically attack, though, after all this weapon. Hmm. 
because I haven't been paying attention to whether or not that's actually been doing something. Attack. I'll compare it to... Okay, so 35, I'll compare it to Slice Strike now. Okay, so into the strike's still better. Yeah, Yara's doing more with physical attacks than she is with, uh, fucking sexual. That's how strong- that's how high resistance is. So, now this is just a matter of waiting. Um, like, it, it, it- it's not the cleanest way to kill this one, but it, it is absolute. Um, go ahead and lust for new- well, actually, no, there's no way we have another fight after this, so just use everything. Another fight without the opportunity to rest, I guess I should say. Okay. Mean sure. Incubus. Fine touch. Attack. This fine touch attack. Okay, every second that it dodges Simon just makes this annoying. Um, shield purity attack fire. Uh huh. You died to a fucking basic fire spell. Get get shit on. Alright. Alpine is now 75, Cumes now 75, whatever. We must be nearly done. That's what I've been saying. Look ahead. I swear to God, we better be nearly done. Is this it? Are we finally there? Yes, whatever lies beyond is a terminal point. We can't go much further in this direction in the tower. Robin, I could kiss you anywhere you want, for as long as you want. Perhaps we should finish our magical explorations. Can you sense anything on the other side? It reminds me of the memorial shrine. Extremely quiet, almost lacking in life. Could it be Tertius Shard? Then we wouldn't have to choose who becomes immortal first. Who becomes immortal first? It would be premature to make assumptions. It's also possible we'll find a powerful tower entity. Let's only go in once we're prepared. What? It's not over. Okay. Oh my god. Alright. Fucking go. Oh my god, we're still here. Uh, this whole episode's just gonna be a god. Tersha, I presume? Whoa, she's huge! Your art is very distinctively different. Anakath didn't draw this. Weird thing is, I initially thought I misspoke, but I was actually correct. <laughs> or maybe she did. I actually can't tell. I don't think the other... Were the other full body arts done by Anakath, or...? I don't know, this art style's different to everybody else's portraits, like right down to... Though I think the no, the portraits would be made in RPG. You might actually, never mind. You might actually be the only character drawn totally by Anna Kath, unless there's another artist involved in this game that I don't know. I don't know. I'm overthinking this. You look 
different. Karina? Are you okay? Hello? We mean you no harm, but we didn't expect to encounter anyone here. Uh, can you hear me? No fucking way. I think she's ignoring us. Karina, did you feel it too? This is amazing. I didn't want to believe it, but I feel but I feel something of the divine about her. This isn't the voice you've been hearing since you were a little girl, is it? Divine tits, you mean? Those are amazing! Of course. I know, it looks like that dress is actually compressing, not boosting, so I can only imagine them. You sure you want to lead by talking about her tits like that? They are very sure they want to lead that way. But we're complimenting them. It doesn't matter. Vindication! God damn it. Riala, is she what I think she is? There is no doubt in my mind this is a goddess. Something been done to her? If there's some kind of binding spell, could we remove it? I'm not bound. Seems like you want to be left alone, but I'm afraid we're here looking for the goddess Tertia. Aka, you are very bad at context clues. That's me. Tertia, we're sorry to disturb you, but we're here on behalf of the dwarves of Eustran. Can't say this is what I expected. You are an incubus king. What of it? There's no point dissembling. She seems very perspective, despite how she acts. Yes, I'm an incubus king. We'd like to have a forthright conversation with you, but... This is tiresome. Just take me. That isn't my intention. We only want to talk. Did that catch your attention? Hey, wait a minute. Are you actually just horny? Is that what you want? Yara cannot actually be allowed to be correct in this, can she? Our Simon doesn't just jump anyone, but I'll give you a little something if you want. The following noises were not edited in any way, shape, or form. I fucking promise you. What? Huh? Even the straight up uh, heck out fate. Huh. I mean, I'm not reading that, but. What? Uh, I just tried to give her a pleasant little thrill, honest. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? I, what? Did, Yara, you broke something. I'm gonna be right back. I was not prepared for today. Okay. Okay, now I'm probably ready for today. No, I'm not going to pace myself. What? You know, when I said I was starting to get a little bored, this is, I was not expecting to immediately have a monkey wrench thrown at my brain. Like, this came out, this, this was the force of a baseball bat. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, okay. They, they shook me, they shook me out of my stupor. You accomplished your goal. What is going on? <laughs> I've been waiting for so long for an Incubus King. Please make me your slut.
okay. That makes more sense. That still hit me like a bat, but... <laughs> Liar. Wait a minute, that was just an act? Completely faked. I couldn't tell the difference, but why? If I understand correctly, Tertia's old. Extremely old. She makes the other goddesses we've met seem like infants. Basically, we just didn't do anything. Yara didn't do shit to her, but... I fucking believed it. Mostly because that was so out of left field, like... I don't know why Simon's mad. I would have started laughing my ass off if I perceived that she was bullshitting. I... I would have just been on the floor. I'm not right now, because I don't trust where this is going. I came here for a fight. I might actually be about to have one. I was going to say when I came here for a fight, this isn't what I... I'm kind of worried I might actually be about to have one now with the with the, this tone shift. She knows about Incubus Kings, and her essence has definitely been sexually active. She must have served Incubus Kings before. Yeah, um... We've already stated that, uh... Well, I've stated. I guess it hasn't been pointed out. But I, I've already surmised that these goddesses were all probably... Maybe not necessarily the first Incubus King's uh, harem, but they've definitely been... That would just be the thing that makes the most sense to me. But they've definitely been. I think I might be able to guess. She knows Incubus Kings want to dominate goddesses and frequently expect certain sexual scripts. For whatever reason, she's decided to just copy those scripts instead of struggling. Am I right? Oh, fuck, you saw through me. That's so fucking hot. Just fuck me now. <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> That's hilarious. I feel like we're being mocked. <laughs> they hit me with the force of a fucking bat. That's not fair. <laughs> I swam in the molten core of our world, washed by tides of liquid metal. Are you finally going to say something? Like, just, just say something? <laughs> I have witnessed generation upon generation change until the last would not be recognized by the first. I have seen the fall of empires built with the dust of empires long forgotten. Holy shit, your penis is a larger size than average. <laughs> Why are you a clown? Like, you, I, I, what, what, what is your? I, I'm so fucking. I, I don't know how to deal with you, and I like it. Unlike everyone else I've dealt with so far in this game, when that has come up, I don't want to deal. I don't know how to deal with you, and for the first time, that doesn't disturb me. That's great. Yeah, we're definitely being mocked. I like his dick, though. <laughs> Is she stalling for some sort of countermeasure? I don't care if she defends herself, but if she's preparing an attack... I can't sense any preparation. She seems to be magically inert. Removing her sexuality like an unperson would theoretically be within her power. Yet she doesn't seem to have done anything to reduce her vulnerability to sexual magic. Why would I put me in your harem and do what you like with my body for a few years or a few for a few years or a few centuries? Eventually your reign will end, your corpse will become earth, and your power will rejoin the flow of the tower. You approach every Incubus King this way, clearly not. In fact, you're probably the first one to be here in a very long time. Well, at least she spoke to us honestly. Why are you just sitting here doing nothing? Your people need you. I can do so little. We have no interest in harming you. We just want to help the dwarves. Will you speak to us? Very well. I won't touch you sexually, but we need your power. We need to take it, we need to take steps to force you to assist. Are you sure? 
She's too powerful to be ignored. I'm not letting dwarves die because she wants to be left alone. It would be easier... That was not our attitude with the potion hermit or... God, she's so forgettable. I don't even remember her name. Wolfie Head Lady. The pointless one. But this one, we're, we're... No, we're saying, no, get off your ass. It's past noon. Get your life together. <laughs> it would be easier for you to take her, but given how little she's resisting, we can probably bind her. What do you need? If you're willing to listen, let me tell you of the threats the world currently faces. You are different than the usual. It'd be better if you just fully embraced the shards within you. You could become a minor god. I'd prefer to use them for higher purposes. Higher purposes than being god! <laughs> Foolish. Does this mean you'll do nothing to help? It's so tiring. It'd be easier if you just fucked me and ordered me to serve you. I refuse to do that. Actually, Simon? I think she might be hinting something at you. Because we already know Avala's a prisoner. Even to you guys, that has been established. What if she is? It's possible. Like, like she might be telling you, like, she can't act while she's unbound. Well, she's not bound to you, anyways. That might be it. But... I don't know. Maybe I'm still trying to look for deeper meaning with a character that I cannot fucking read yet. I was so excited about the, uh, those tits, but this is turning out really frustrating. It's not turning out frustrating at all. Well, I disagree with you wholeheartedly for once, Connor. This is not frustrating. I fucking love whatever this is. I'm way too curious about this. Extremely so. Place a binding spell so she can't leave. Then we'll retreat to discuss this. Why retreat? Okay. I confess, I'm not sure how to proceed here. Why not fuck her? She literally asked for it, and if there's ever a justified reason, a goddess is it. <laughs> like, I, again, I actually, uh, I think I, I think she's trying to tell us something, but I'm not sure there's any deeper reason for this. Quite yet. I don't think you could actually command her true cooperation that way. She seems apathetic, but she isn't entirely. I think we can get through to her. Maybe angry Janine can help. The beardies would want to know. Good place to start. In the short term, we have access to her and no one else does. There's time. Yeah, but we had to do this in one shot because we're being watched by a certain fuckhead. But I guess we're forgetting that? Okay, let's go talk to Naranda. We should be able to move to and from this place more easily. We're gonna get back here and... Oh, no. We're gonna get back here and something bad's going to have happened. Now that we... We can return to Eustern directly. Is there a reason to stick around? Who's going this way, do? Is this just... No fucking way! We've walked far... <laughs> Nalili put her foot down. <laughs> Listen, Nalili, I just wanted to see what else was going on here. Okay, I mean, there's nothing to do, so why put that decision in my hands? Okay, I guess we're gonna go see Angry Janine. Uh... Hmm... Let's go bring you to- You look worse for wear, right? You look worse for wear. I hope your journey was at least successful. 
we need to talk. Tertia's not dead. I had not imagined that Tertia truly existed, much less she still lives. Though we need to caution you, she isn't the goddess the dwarves might expect. I don't care about that. I care about the power she's been sitting on while Eustran has suffered. Unfortunately, she isn't inclined to help us. I'm not sure she's even capable of it. Let me talk to her. Now. I don't know if that's wise. I do. I'm fascinated. I think I'd like to let her try. This is Tarsha, one of the Dwarun. It's Dwarin. Ah, sometimes I can't keep up with the drift of word. Sometimes I can keep up with the drift of words. Sometimes not. It doesn't matter what. It doesn't matter what we're called. It matters that we're suffering. I don't even remember if this is actually the accent I gave her when she was first introduced. I think it was. I honestly don't care. Are you just some woman calling herself Tertia, or are you the Tertia of the Living Stone, or the goddess we memorialize? Once I was. Long ago. Then why did you abandon us? We dwindle, we suffer, we face extinction. Did you want this? I did not want such things, but you do not understand how the passage of ages wearies me. The most ardent of worshippers still fade. Those I protect die whenever I act or stand back. Your people still dwindle. My actions change nothing in the end. There is no purpose to them. I don't give a shit about your apathy, you self-centered bitch. <laughs> Yep, Irish is definitely the tone to take with her. <laughs> People's entire lives hang on the uh, hang on your inaction. You expect us to care about your fucking feelings. You act like you're so full of ancient wisdom, but your wisdom is as good as idiotic lies to me. Such anger. It's been a long time. But always so fleeting. You just yep, Irish was definitely the correct way to go. Or is this Scottish? I. I can never tell the two apart. Sorry to anybody that uh, is either or or knows the difference. I don't fucking care. <laughs> it doesn't matter if my anger is boring to you. If you abandon the Dwarren to sulk here, I will urge Simon to eliminate or enslave you and use your power to do some good. She's literally been asking me to do that. We Naranda the Fourth, I can feel the weight of your crown and your sorrow at the losses of your people. Even if nothing has truly changed, you're right. In respect for your passion, I'll help your generation. You will. Just like that. I have loved many of you. To love is to hurt, but I can carry more pain. Can't believe she actually got through to Tertia by punching her. <laughs> Great. Woo, go Naranda. If you're really going to cooperate, then begin by answering a question of mine. Did you create the Dwarren? It's so difficult to remember so many things, but my early memories are clear enough. I did not create you, nor did I bear a particular love for your people. I'm the goddess of the world itself. But your people took greater care to understand me. When I heard their words, I came to love them in turn. And you abandoned us because of this apathy! My mind is so full, memories overwritten countless times. Though I want to help you, it is difficult. I am old. Older than you know. My memories are, the st are st as stones wandering the bottom of the ocean. Can we help you retrieve those memories? Perhaps. Everything is moving too quickly for me while I ponder my questions. Would you like to begin? You will cooperate, won't you? I said that I would. Wow, she actually had a scowl on her face that time. Even fragmentary memories could be useful to us. You said that you remember earlier memories more clearly. Those that made an impression. I remember those days and recent years of solitude. In between lies a in between lies a murky abyss. Surely you can answer this. Are you a mortal who obtained a divine shard? Some goddesses are, some are not. I cannot remember for certain which I am. Some goddesses aren't former mortals. What does that mean? Difficult to explain. The tower's a natural balance. When something's imbalanced, new beings were naturally arise. They're like J some of them are like Janasta. They were created directly by the tower in response to something, but they grew. Be but like, hopefully, like Janasta will turn out. 
they grew they grew beyond the scope of their tower function. If power lies alone for too long, it may form into a goddess to fill a void in the world. Does the tower also manifest other beings? We know that to be true. Can't remember. Simon, we already know that. Other pure incubus kings form from nothing. I'm not sure. Well, you're just, uh, barely useless right now. Then the current goddesses, which are they? Even Simon's getting a little frustrated with that. I, I'm curious about you. That does not mean I'm incapable of getting mad at you. I cannot tell if I remember those who've passed away or those who still exist. Surely we could help stir your memories in some way. I am insulated from everything here, but if I were to venture out and encounter others, I'm sure that some memories would return. Would removing her run the risk of, tan uh, of tanning rack noticing? Probably. Seems unlikely, but since it's not magically impossible, I think it would be safer to assume he might. Oh, that name. He might not have the capacity to overturn the order of reality, but where some caused pain for years, he harmed for millennia. You remember more about who he is or what he wants? I'm sorry, but again, I cannot. Can't say this is what I expected from meeting a goddess. It's not the first time we've met a goddess. I guess it's just the first time everyone has. I am sorry. You better be able to answer this. How does the tower control de a destiny? That is a very old system. Unchanged for most of my life. System is a very specific word, so that's another p point in the... Uh, this is a simulation bucket. I'm sorry, but I remember little of it. But if it's a system, it could be manipulated. Likely. Okay, this is getting frustrated. Why don't we find a way to jog our memory instead of bashing our heads against the wall? Hey, Naranda, slap her again. Simon, I suggest we make camp here. Call your wife and consider our options. Should we be bringing her here? Agreed. Okay. How are you feeling? I'm not sure. In a sense, learning that Tertia is real changes nothing. I want to believe her power could help the Dwarin, but we no longer trust in the Divine. One thing you can trust is she embodies power. It may be difficult, but we're taking a significant step forward. Simon, if she really refuses to you to cooperate, I want you to fuck her. Force her to help my people. <laughs> I don't think it'll come to that. Thanks for talking sense into her. I met Tertia herself and lectured her. Some of my childhood tutors would feel very validated. <laughs> <sighs> yup, I... D d yup. Yup. If a studio, if an animation studio ever picks up this fucking license. If, if a hentai studio ever picks up this license, I won't accept anything less than an ir than a deeply Irish Naranda. <laughs> but my mind does not, but my mind does not like, uh, does not like such changes. You know this, I leave it in your hands. I will do everything I can to be worthy of that trust. I wonder why she's so tall when Dwarren and are so short. It is a trivial question. Kyum! Um, cum dump is not very much help here. Earthy sparkle is confusing. That's alright, Kyum. I just wanted to hear your thoughts. Cum dump thinks Earthy sparkle is actually nice. She's just sleepy. Cum dump wants to hug her. But Earthy sparkle is very big and will be hard to hug. The big, that bigness definitely makes some things hard. Yara, giantess isn't my tag, I'm sorry. They are very big and pretty tits. But cum dump does not mean that. Earthy Sparkle has lots and lots and lots of memories. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots. Yes, I understand. She's older than I can truly grasp, and that seems to have taken a toll on her. But Cumdum thinks that she would still like a hug. Maybe even a sexy hug. 
Yeah, the fact that you're in agreement on that tells me she's trying to tell she's trying to tell Simon something, but has to do it in a roundabout way, I guess. Hopefully, Kume. Hopefully. Or she hasn't figured out how to talk to Simon yet. I believe this place was once a lush garden, but neglect has left it to wither. What do you observe about her divine power in objective terms? She's strong. If goddesses are like Incubus Kings, I'd say she possesses a major shard. Yeah, no shit. And the others? That was the whole line, right? Yep, that was the whole line. I suspect all those who proclaim themselves goddesses do as well. The small fragments? Who can say? I've felt a compulsion towards her ever since we arrived. I'd like to see what can be done about that. Never fear, I'm already working on finding the boundaries of what can be done. This is many times more complex than anything we've done before, however. The idea of a pure Incubus King was fascinating. I wonder what such a being would be like. Probably the first one! Um... <clears throat> My good news may not equal finding a long-lost goddess, but I do have some. I've completed the preparations for my new body. Once we gather all the ingredients, it can be complete, so we're just waiting on our true stone tree. Even with Tertia standing behind me, you have no idea how much it means to hear that. Mm, it means something. I don't trust it yet. The existence of Tertia is obviously a much bigger issue in the scheme of- in the grand scheme- in the scheme of things. You mean the grand scheme? Whatever. I've been holding back, but do you want me to talk to her? I think we should. I should have talked to Tertia one-on-one -on -one before I did this. So, you're Tertia herself, are you? Show your true self. My, it seems you're perceptive. Is my form as tedious to you as everything else? It's not unheard of for mortals to become abominations of hatred within the tower, but... It is not common. Abomination of hatred? What a rude thing to say to a lady. Is it wrong, though? He. I wanted to ask you about this body of yours. It's real, not a projection, yet strangely potent. That was a weird fucking laugh. A chuckle at her. What's that about, Tertio? Hmm, true. I had mostly forgotten. I am not a mortal body carrying divine power. My body is divine power. So I don't suppose it'd be easy to let you stay here and project yourself outside. Probably wouldn't work. That's a shame, because it was my best idea. It'd be easiest to bind me fully, then move all of me as well as my seat of power. That's no easy feat, you suggest, even if I could apply all my power, my full power to this. She's not talking to you on that. She doesn't mean via arcane magic. She's suggesting I dominate her. Wouldn't that be even more obvious? Not when done by a subtle Incubus King. Our powers are naturally suited to one another. How so? You could potentially save us years of research into the nature of the shards. Can't remember. Simon, is this going to require patience I don't have? I understand. We'll handle the rest. For the record, I think her solution would work. If you dominate her, you could draw her power under yours, so to speak. I'd wanted to avoid that. She has centuries of defenses, but I don't think she's beyond reach. Just talk to her. Given how she's the most experienced woman you've ever met, I imagine she's open to discussion. Okay. If you're the goddess of the world itself, how powerful are you? There is no single answer. I'm both strong and weak. Explain. I'm deeply embedded in the world and the tower. This is both strength and limitation. I'm not as free to act as an Incubus King, but I can do many things that they cannot. Such as? Could you completely stop earthquakes from killing people? Not truly. The forces that produce earth earthquakes are also those that allow for life. I'm sorry. I'm very tired. Here's the situation as I see it, Tertia. We need to keep working with you, but removing you from the tower will alert Tanarak, uh, will alert Tanning Rack and other enemies. You know the option available to you. Just do it and let me help Naranda. That isn't who I am. Riala, can we use purely ascended sexual magic? 
I'm sorry, Simon, but no, it took a great deal of study to perfect those techniques. Doing the same with the goddess would be vastly more complex. Only effective, the only effect, our only effective option is using your shard intuitively. Uh, that's not great. Everyone else, please leave us. I'm hoping I'm not fucking something up right now. I just wanted to see if she, what her dialogue after the conversation was, because I noticed the portal back to the surface is still here, so I could have taken that and seen if there was... It seems we have no other options. Why does this feel like a defeat? I will do whatever is necessary to create a better world, but I do not want to take anyone against their will. It wouldn't be. I've been telling you to just get it over with. No, I'd hope we could come to some agree to some agreement that would be positive for both of us. She is literally Okay. What do you mean? Surely there's some form of pleasure that isn't tedious to you. We can do anything you want, so what would you choose? You you would ask me what I want? Simon was perceptive enough to see through your bullshit, but you're... You can't... E you, were you just not bothering to try and see through him? Because it should be pretty obvious that he does care. Okay. That was probably the rudest possible way you could have responded. You were up here, now you're going down a little bit, because that... That was... This is uncalled for! <laughs> oh, fuck, no one's ever done that before. Fuck me now, you benevolent man. That isn't gonna work on me anymore. It didn't work on you to begin with! <laughs> Is that really such a common approach among Incubus Kings? I've seen a great many things. Some think themselves more benevolent than others, or apply more overt force. Though there have been kings like Simon before. Not too surprising. Although that leaves bad implications, because what happened to them would be pretty fucking obvious in this day and age. My hair is, like, fucking around with the... I need to adjust some. Yeah, it's a little better, but... Really, it's just my hair, like... Am I, gonna, am I about to have to return to being short-haired just because it's, like, making the green screen more awkward? I don't know. Really, I just have to find the right settings. I'm still playing with it, so... Whatever, I've seen a great many things, something... Uh, well, I've already read that. Ahem! <clears throat> that was that. Whatever. Some forced me to bind them. Spank... Some forced me to bind them. Spank them. It doesn't matter. They still violated my will. <clears throat> as grim as that is, you seem to have found a spark of humor in it. One of my aspects is being a goddess of fertility, but yes, yeah, sex is intrinsically quite silly at times. Yeah. I think there's inherent, an inherent absurdity in many of the things we want most. Possibly. Of all the Incubus Kings you've experienced, which one would you say was your least favorite? I'm glad that we're having this conversation. <laughs> hmm. Many were cruel, but pain and humiliation quickly grow tedious and they all blend together. There was one. He always called me mommy and required me to change his diapers, the horrors of motherhood without any of the joys. Ah, I, I, I want to say please be making that up, but you're probably not. I was going to say lying to me would serve no purpose, but a lot of the things you've done so far serve no purpose. Were the diapers a fetish or did he need to wear them all the time? <laughs> I would rather not think about it. Fair enough. You seem to be speaking more easily than before. 
I was accustomed to silence, but you've woken me, and you are not disagreeable to speak with. I'm waiting for you to scream about how I'm the first real man to have a first man to have a real conversation with you. <laughs> I think your plans and efforts are likely to come to nothing over any meaningful span of time, but I don't find them unpleasant. It would be better for you to simply indulge. Use the power to become a benevolent tyrant, have sex with your lovers, and make the world slightly better for a time. Tersha! I appreciate Janasta's mindset. I understand where it's coming from, Janasta's mindset completely, and I identify with it heavily. I'm not validating her. The last thing I'm gonna do is, ha is prove her or Hester correct. Fuck off. And people say hatred can't be a force for good. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, I actually didn't finish that. Use your power to become a benevolent tyrant, have sex with your lovers, and make the world slightly better for a time. Meeting you's convinced me more deeply that something needs to fundamentally change. I doubt you can bring that change, but I'm willing to lend myself to your work. I'll do what I must, but I'd really rather not be with an apathetic partner. Is there any way this could be something you actually want? No mental manipulation. It's all been done before, and it would only make things very tedious for both of us. That's literally not a problem. I would rather not do anything involving my hips, not at first, and if I used my hands, it would be less than enthusiastic. I'm very tired of Incubus Kings forcing their way into my throat, especially when they somehow confuse it with a vagina. <laughs> <sighs> you want it to be over quickly, and I could just for—I uh, could just force my power and finish while barely touching you. Well, this truly is a first. I don't think I remember any Incubus Kings who were this eager to be rid of me. <laughs> you forcing yourself through something sounds unappealing. If you really want me to care, I need to see you care. You haven't mentioned your breasts at all. Ah, you like those, don't you? I've seen your harem. <laughs> that is coincidence! Also, Robin. So, I do not respect these allegations coming from you. <laughs> that could work, so long as you don't feel the need to overinflate your dick or use it as a bludgeon for some reason. The fact that I believe you have seen this crap before says very bad things about how Incubus Kings normally go. <laughs> I don't really have any interest in either, but is this something you want or just a compromise? I am willing to entertain the idea. A discussion like this is truly new, truly is new to me. Won't lie, I'd like to see you embrace some pleasure, not falsely, but carrying all your history with you. I have been somewhat dismissive. The truth is, I feel the smallest element of kinship with you. Though you are young by my standards, you know something of age and weariness. That is a spark that might be kindled into something more. I would not mind if that began with a pleasant absurdity. I'm glad to hear you say that, Tertia. Also, this has been the easiest... Why was the end of this dungeon the, uh easiest fucking thing part of my life so far oh my fucking god <laughs> I love Yara so much <laughs> Apparently, Tarsha does not appreciate flares! <laughs> I'm not reading that, but... 
I'm actually, I think I'm gonna start crying. You mock, but I'll take it. <laughs> Yana, give us privacy. Only because I trust you. That is somewhat new as well, but we can discuss it later. What? Trust? Okay. For now, let's see if this can work after all. Okay. As Tertia slipped out of her dress, Simon had to wonder if this was another test. She wore nothing underneath, so he could see her pussy, and his power could feel that she was wet and ready. If he pushed her down to the ground, he knew that she would not resist, and soon begin moaning in pleasure. Maybe not as mockingly as before, but it would still be false. Instead of following his urges, he simply touched her on the shoulder. Why don't you lie down comfortably? Hmm. Dersha shifted back on the soft grass, her breasts rolling across her chest magnificently, freed of her dress. Uh, freed of her dress, they were one of the largest pairs he'd ever seen. When she lay back, they sat proud on her chest, not unnaturally like a succubus, but as if overflowing with nubile perfection. Once he pulled off his clothes, Simon carefully straddled her chest. He touched one of her breasts and found it impossibly soft and firm at the same time. As many tits as Simon had touched in his life, Tertia seemed to embody the abstract ideal of breasts. <laughs> That's a matter of opinion! He's not gonna let me live this down. <laughs> Yet she only watched him with little expression on her face, which made it difficult for him to truly get interested. Instead of simply groping her, Simon let some of his power pass through his hand into her body. Not to try to incite pleasure, but instead a flow of warmth and comfort. Trisha smiled just slightly. That is pleasant. I'm not sure if I've ever said that before. <laughs> That smile was enough for him. He let his cock settle between her breasts, then gently gripped one with each hand. Instead of trying to bring her pleasure with his caresses, he merely found a comfortable position, then wrapped her breasts around his cock. For the first time in years, he fully disappeared inside warm cleavage. Tertia let out a soft sigh. Less, ple less pleasure than relief. Yet it did more to send his blood flowing than all of her false screams. His cock swelled further, to the point where it perfectly thrust against as much of her cleavage as possible without escaping it. Oh, this one has artwork! Huh. It's not bad. Which means that- which means Tertia is the first character fully... ...designed, like... ...profile- like, the- the profile pic off to the side... The pro the picture off to the uh, like the her portrait that's the word I'm sorry I've been a little crazy from this entire exchange that means the portrait the full body art were all of that fully just Anakath like there's no RPG maker didn't have a part to play in her design that's kind of cool. I wonder if everybody's gonna get that treatment eventually probably. Palming as much of her breasts as he could and thrusting between them easily. Although, given her size, I will say this artwork looks out of proportion because she's human-sized in this artwork when she's... I don't think she's meant to be from the implications, but... And she certainly... She sure as shit doesn't have the biggest tits of the artworks we've seen so far. I don't know. Sorry, Anakath. I'm not meaning to... I'm not trying to put... Sound like I'm putting you on blast here. Palming as much of her breasts as he could and thrusting between them he came easily, yet Simon found himself struggling to resist other habits. He'd always enjoyed f feeling his partner's orgasm as he moved, but he constrained himself to just making his cock slick enough to move comfortably. Gradually, his mind drifted into the experience just as his hand sank into her supple flesh. It wasn't merely the warm pressure around his cock, there was an indefinable pleasure from it. I mean, to it. He realized that it reminded him of the moments when the succubi slipped from the sipped from the shards. Memories of those encounters motivated him to begin thrusting more rapidly. Tertia watched him, her face slowly softening into a smile. He accepted that she enjoyed watching him, and that by indulging in some way he was letting himself fall into her power. So he let himself fall. 
Simon caressed her luscious breasts to his heart's delight, pressing them tighter around him as he thrust inside her cleavage. As he focused entirely on his own pleasure, he barely heard her murmurs. Go faster. Tertia raised her arms alongside her breasts, in the process brushing his hands away, yet the pressure from her arms made her breasts form an even tighter tunnel around his cock. Now it was more than that. Her divine power no longer simply waited. It wrapped around him, reacting with his power and introducing him to an entirely new world of pleasure. <clears throat> He pulled back his hips so that only the head of his cock remained in her cleavage, then thrust forward. It felt so good that he couldn't help but let out a grunt. Throwing aside other concerns, he dropped forward onto his hands and began to thrust, and <clears throat> his hips slapping against her breasts audibly. Dersha only murmured encouragingly, so he continued thrusting faster. <clears throat> For the first time, he felt as though their bodies were truly working together. Each, with each thrust, his entire cock slid against the inner curve of her breasts, creating a perfect channel of soft warmth. Though he wanted to go, it to go on forever, all too soon he found himself nearing the edge. Where? Where do you want it? Between. Tertia's voice wasn't exactly breathy, yet she watched him with real warmth. That took him over the edge, and he thrust forward hard, partially flattening uh, her breasts against his hips. His cock throbbed almost violently, come erupting in the tight channel of her cleavage. He dropped forward further, barely keeping himself upright as his cock sent jet after jet of hot cum between her breasts. When it was over, Tertia pulled her breasts apart and examined the mess on her luscious slopes. That is certainly a way to describe it. He was too busy catching his breath to care, but then Tertia's cool analysis became a smile. It continues, apparently. Many Incubus Kings have made me come at the same time they did, but I think this may have been the first time I've ever found the experience... ...enjoyable. Instead of addiction, I actually feel inclined to do this again. <laughs> That's sad. I'm glad his attempt to respond calmly was interrupted when Tertia wrapped her breasts around him again. All his cum formed a hot layer around his shaft, joining with her divine power to create the perfect sheep for his cock. Oh, she meant right now! Oh, hmm. It has been a long time since I felt one of these, and longer still since I wanted to. Get comfortable and let us get used to one another. Simon was not about to disagree. <laughs> Alright. Well, it seems our work with goddesses is off to a strange start. Yeah, I wonder if that's gonna set a tone, Yara. Yara, Aka, sorry. I haven't even finished this yet. Jesus. Hit fucking's a great start, even if I didn't get to see it. You're actually not upset about that. Hmm. Succubus, do you not want to see me becoming the moaning creature I mock? Hmm. Nope, I want to see you give in to pleasure, but I've come to realize that pleasure takes many forms. You don't have to break. I'm happy to see you melt as long as you're enjoying yourself. That's a first, isn't it? Can we move her now? It will require all our mages working together to securely move her pocket of the ta her pocket of the tower next to her own. Perhaps in the meantime, we could take her to our recent find. That might spark some memories. A lovely idea. We'll return to Eustrin first, leave Naranda in her chambers, then be on our way. I know you want to go uncover the secrets of the universe, but something's come up while we were with Tertia. What is it? Captain Paulina has responded to my request for a clandestine meeting. That could bode well for us. But she and I can easily converse with one another without you. I understand. We'll deal with this first. The meeting will take place in the outer tunnels near the main Aram entrance. It's been years since we've been here. This time we're coming from far below the levels once forbidden to us. His memories feel strange yet wonderful. We all knew each other so little then. But we need to deal with business as quickly as possible to get back to other matters. We can't move our new friend immediately, so there's no need to rush. No, no, I approve of this business as quickly as possible policy. We have to do it for Karina's sake. I demand it. Okay. 
They still haven't connected the tunnel. Women sopping fools. I remember you from before. What exactly do you mean by that? I know better than to say anything to such a large group of well-equipped women. But really, this fucking tunnel, how many years has it been? We were originally plans to blast through, but given Rum's behavior, we decided this entrance should be defensible. Mm. Wait. Wow. I don't think we've ever gone that way. Whatever. Hey, there she is. Is it safe to have the meeting here? The Beardies will not tell. The Beardies are our friends. Let's make arrangements so I can speak to her. Captain Polina! Simon, it's been a long time since we've spoken. We've been consistently busy, but Naranda says that you've done well cooperating with her. The Queen is perhaps the only person cooperating with me. You have troubles with the Automite authorities? Controls fragmenting, that me fragmenting, and that means my orders have become an ugly morass. I'll thank you not to taunt me. I still believe it would be best if I served her arm obediently. Who all is sending you orders? The king? Perhaps other nobles? Military leaders? The high priestesses? Anyone else? The high priestesses have actually been quieter as of late, focused on this crystal of Vivala and other internal politics. But the nobles and the military are a nightmare. Some are even demanding that... I hesitate to even speak of it. I doubt it'll shock me if that's stopping you. Some want Queen Naranda to be impregnated with a half-human child. Something we've established shouldn't be possible, but whatever. To annex Eustrin permanently. We've heard it from her own lips. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Naranda often mentions you favorably, so of course she'd be open with you. I trust your experience has led you to understand that such a plan would never work. I know the Dwarren will never obey so easily. That won't stop others from trying. It just frustrates me that they leap to such a sexual solution so quickly. These new nations are sexualizing everything. Do you have any evidence that Succubi had been involved with the Rom scheme to rape the Queen? Your reprimand is well placed. I apologize for my words. I'm not offended, but I do wish humans would accept their own complicity in many sexual crimes. I should have known better. I've served along succubi and orc, so I've seen that they can be disciplined. Honestly, many of my new soldiers are worse. Most succubi merely want to enjoy mutual pleasure, but these... You're still being reinforced with criminals, despite the increasing tensions with Aram. The perversity of noble politics knows no bounds. Is that a security risk? Don't worry, I've formed an inner guard and of my most trusted men. They would die for me, and I for them. It does feel like their cruelties increased recently, especially since the Thanorzian War. If I were to share a plan regarding Aram, would you reveal it to your superiors? If I were commanded to do so by a legitimate authority? Yes. But in practice, they stopped asking for my opinion since I expressed any sympathy for Queen Naranda. I think it would be best for Eustrin if they declared their independence by... Are you mad? You should know what they would order me to do. You really think Aram would risk destroying one of its strongest economic assets? It might give them pause, but as the army disbands, its leaders look for justifications to use it. Perhaps we need a softer touch than we thought, but the plan can actually remain mostly the same. Eustrin can declare it can, de can declare its independence not explicitly but implicitly. Explain. You've probably already noticed that Eustrin is functionally independent in many ways, and thankfully, I've never been ordered to investigate too closely. I believe that if Eustrin quietly began to trade freely without declaring it, Aram would not retaliate. Only if they don't notice. Even if you think you can convince me to withdraw all. Or am I present below? I can't- I don't control all of it. All I ask is for time. If Eustrin strengthens its bonds with other nations, Aram will realize that it needs Eustrin more than Eustrin needs it. And you think they won't attack? And you think we'll let them? Gelderon would act? Our relationship with Eustrin is now strong. Our relationship with Aram... They wouldn't be alone. Yilin, the Doom King's armies, would also prevent Aram from invading Eustrin. Surely you would not start a fourth Arklentium war. Like hell I wouldn't! 
I don't think it would ever come to that. Surely even the most delusional of Armite nobles would realize they cannot fight half the world. Their army couldn't manage it, even if they could actually supply them that long. They don't have the economy for it. If they actually begin such a feudal war in order to oppress their best trading partner, they deserve it. Or they could argue with one another and do nothing as Eustrin slowly becomes a power unto itself. No need for a war or any grand declaration of separation. I think trade would actually increase to Aram. And so you come to me with all of this. Let me be clear, I hate this manner of backstage manipulation. Don't care. But I'm tired of obeying a mess of contradictory orders. If your plan worked, it'd be better for everyone. Yeah, I wasn't asking for your compliance in it. I guess Simon was. I wasn't asking for your compliance. I was just letting you know what the way the wind was blowing. Then you would... I will cooperate on one condition, that your economic control is so overwhelming that I can be sure no one will order me to invade Eustrin. High bar, given the politicians. How close are we, Miguel? Not sure. That'd be something to evaluate carefully with our next economic returns. Do not take any aggressive steps before you are truly and completely ready. That's not really in my nature, Captain Polino. I suppose not. Sounds like this could work out after all. Gumdump wants to help angry Janeerd, uh, uh, Janeerd, Janine and all the beardies. With that done, we can now take Tertia to visit the Fallen Goddess's Shrine. Talk about Whiplash. This is not familiar. Oh, we're back here. Let's see if, uh, what you think of the shrine itself. I guess I was completely wrong about this being Tertia's tomb. Um... Monsters have repopulated, or did I miss one? Hold up. Give me you. And... Oh. Surely these things are not as strong as they were. To me. Well, that one's weak to it. Good to figure that out really quick. All 78, Aka 77. I haven't used Orgasmic Strike in so fucking long. Jesus. Anything new to take in this place? Can't jump over there. Does this mean I should have left chests alone? Well, no, the loot here was actually okay. Was there seriously only one set of monsters here that... Did I just, like, miss them on the last pass somehow, or... No, definitely not. Well, at least these things aren't strong enough to really be an issue to me anymore. I figured that they would be weak to lost. Is this physical? Because Orgasmic Strike doesn't do sexual, I guess. Batter it primarily does. How dare you? Motherfucker. Look at this kiss. Oh, Lust Death. Nice. I just realized, like, Robin is actually starting to run out now. That one's Lust Death. <laughs> 
Okay. That works. Um... So that wasn't Tertia's corpse then. Did she leave like a false trail for us? Is that what this is? I wonder. Can you tell us anything about this place? I remember her. She was a goddess of wind and wild. And the wild, a gentle soul, worn by the world, even without an incubus king. Oh, it was a goddess's grave, just not yours. I think I recall her withdrawing from the world as much as I did. She wanted to be forgotten. And it seems in time she wanted to stop existing, making her final resting place into a forgotten memorial. I understand how those memories might be sad for you, but we can hope but we hope you can tell us more about the current situation. First, what do you intend to do with the remains of her? I will not lie to you. We intend to use them for our own power. Did you think I wanted them to be entombed forever? No, I wanted to know how you would use them. We're going to break it into little shards and implant them into each of us. We'll be like miniature goddesses. Aside from making us immortal, it really adds something to the sex. Of course it does. And why exactly is that? Uh, I remembered something else. I trust that you would like to learn of the relationship between the shards. Yes! Yes, please. Fuck. Yes. I cannot begin at the beginning if I, w I was not alive then. And I cannot say if there ever truly was a beginning. But our world consists of two powers, both connecting and opposing. It is difficult to explain them. We've met someone else who spoke of them at length. You may proceed. Oh? Huh? That is a rather deep truth. Elanon. But in any case, the pinnacle of these two elements are great concentrations of power, the divine and dark shards. Shards of what? There was an era, truly a long time ago, when all the divine shards were one and there was only a single deity. We believe you, but how can you remember that? I believe I was a fragment of that broken power, perhaps? My memory grows very foggy here. I think I may never... It's difficult. That's fine. Please proceed with what you do remember. Yes, do not sidetrack this woman! I want to know! When the two powers shattered one another, each broke into seven great pieces. Seven magic dragon balls! I do not think there is anything truly sacred about that number, and yet it occurs again and again. There are only five major dark shards, the Incubus Emperor, the Fuck Lord, the Empress, the Lust Lord, and the Anak. Yes, but perhaps the remaining two large shards were further sundered into all the minor shards, just as the Fuck Lord was. I hope so, it'd be bad if there was another major power out there. Because there's always more to do. There is, isn't there. Lustlord, one of the Incubus Kings of your era takes that name. Yes, one does. He's the eldest of us, but not the strongest. Presumption, the Lustlord was the name of an Incubus King who gathered nearly all of the Dark Shards within himself. Nearly all? So it wasn't the first one. Interesting. Then the Lustlord was real. All the stories about his struggles with real goddesses. Does that truly inspire you? Surely you realize this Lust Lord was as base and banal as any mortal today. Doesn't matter, that means we can make Simon into the new Lust Lord, a better one. I mean, I guess that's one way to look at it. When did this era of the Lust Lord take place? You misunderstand. Time is deeper than you can fathom. There have been eras of unified shards and eras where they are sundered into a thousand fragments. At times, seven goddesses did battle against seven incubus kings. At times, there was no symmetry or order. The wheel turns about, over and over, endlessly. Have there been eras where the two worked together? Almost everything has been seen under the sum. In some era, there were great alliances, yes. But you seem to suggest that isn't the normal pattern. Are the two shards fated to conflict in some way? Not fate. But when an Incubus King gains enough power, I believe they see their limitations. They realize that they can create nothing. 
When that happens, they seek to enslave goddesses in order to seize what they can never create themselves. Ooh, ooh, come dump understands you. The sparklies are very, very, very sparkly. Hume has a unique perspective on the world. Can you elaborate, dear? Some magic things are like rocks. Rocks are also like rocks. They just bonk together and nothing happens. But some things create nice sparklies when they touch. It can be healings or fuckings or zappings. What you're saying is that the light and dark shards are uniquely reactive to each other. Yep, yep. They can be controlly sparkles, but they can also be friendship sparkles. Your succubus is actually correct. The two elements react to one another in many different ways. The most tedious method is for Incubus Kings to dominate goddesses. We have a tendency to succumb and are uniquely pleasurable for them. That seems inequitable. If that's true, why doesn't one lust lord reign forever? Nothing lasts forever. But you are correct. There's a counterpoint. Incubus Kings dominate goddesses, but goddesses seal and sunder kings. That's the trick! Okay, so every time they do it... The incub So the Incubus Kings are addicted to the goddesses because of the feeling it gives, but every time they take one, they weaken. They grow weaker and weaker until they can be killed. Every time they take one of the goddesses. That is what the child meant when she said if you could live with your harem forever, but only if you don't fuck them. Oh my god, that is what she meant. You give them the shards, they will live forever. But every time you do something with them, you will weaken. Is that where this is going? Did I crack it? Interesting. We're about to make Yara a very unhappy person, <laughs> then. In that is fascinating, okay. No matter what strategy they attempted for dominance, in the end they shattered and began a new era. It's the way of the world. This is fascinating. Thank you, Tertia. You are welcome. What about the current era of goddesses? Can you feel them? So, Incubus Kings are inherently addicted to those possessing the Divine Shards. But the Divine Shards are also their kryptonite. That is a fascinating fucking design flaw. Well, intentional weakness. That's amazing. Hmm. Let me show you our research. The current major goddesses are Rivala, the goddess of magic, the mother, and perhaps Zelika. I've known other mothers, but this one feels unfamiliar. She must be too young for me to have any mem memories of her at all. But the others? The goddess of magic, I believe her name is Mythin. Ivala and Mythin are far younger than me, but perhaps old by your standards. They remember a previous era. They seem to have been quiet and inactive for some time. Perhaps hiding, the previous era was ruled by a partial lust lord, one who attempted to rule as a dark god. Now I remember, he enslaved Mythin for decades. I imagine she still bears the scars from the addiction he forced on her. And now Simon, her reaction to Simon makes perfect sense to him, and he doesn't like it. And Devala? She sealed herself behind a nearly inviolable barrier. As far as I know, she's never been touched by any mortal. But I felt her presence. I thought, you think Devala founded the church that worships her? Why would she allow so many fractured doctrines and factions? I cannot remember. Such details fall from my mind, even if I, if I have ever noticed them. But the Evala I remember did not desire worship. She loved mortals and wanted to help them. That makes sense to Karina. <laughs> so between the five goddesses, the fallen goddess of wind and the fractured seventh, all divine shards are accounted for. We haven't discussed Zelika. She's older than the others, younger than me, but I have more memories of her. You'd like her, I think. She always sought to improve the world and even hoped to find an incubus king as a partner. Sounds great to me. Let's go recruit her first. Nah. Nah. Sorry, Yara. After everything I've heard, Mythin is first up. I want to fix... I want to fix her. I can fix her. Shut the fuck up. 
I do not know where she is. There are too many forces intentionally clouding the tower. I grow weary as I have not delved so deep in many centuries. You've been very helpful, Tertia. Thank you. We've also moved your portion of the tower into the region we have protected. Please rest there. Yes, rest. Hmm. I'd not expected our journey to go in this direction. I didn't either. But I finally got an answer that I didn't predict. I finally have failed to predict where this game was going in a good way. <laughs> so that is huge for me. That is huge to me. It means I still got more to learn. I believe this is a significant step forward. Yeah, I'm really glad to finally get some answers. It doesn't feel too big for us anymore. Is anyone going to finish the thought of what Tertia said about sealing? Most importantly, we got answers on goddess fucking. Yeah, the answer was don't do it. How you feel about that, Yara? All of us can get smaller uh, shards and then we can have divine sex forever. Yara did not pay attention. Mother's a bitch, though. We can't let her shards stick around to threaten Simon. I think we can make her fall in line. Zelika will join us if we find her, and I'm sure Simon can help M Myth and heal. Ooh, that's such a hot idea. Whatever the situation is with Avala, I believe we need to speak with her as well. I feel hope that she can be negotiated with. This Divine Realm's not so dissimilar to the one we know. And I'm into it. Divine fucking negotiation. Divine fucking negotiations! Go! That'd be nice, but we know very little about all the others. There's a great deal of work to be done, and I would like to know, and I would especially like to assist Eustrin soon. But I think this stage of the journey's over. It's time for us to explore the next. What? We're not just... We're done with Eustrin? Okay! I'm not doing all that math. What's the end number? Okay, it's nice a reminder of what I already own, but... Oh, the succubus bar is giving payouts. Interesting. I didn't... I was expecting that 20, 25,000 to just be gone. Desert Bounty Office. Okay. Min's trade route continuing to be fucking busted. Javini smithing. Yep, yep, yep. Bank of Javini. Yep. Chal Estates, Armor, Potions and More, Takan Trade, okay, Houston Trade Prep, Kyongan Farm Prep, or Erosian Trade Prep, Prep? Why did we get nothing from those, what? I was expecting this to be on the world map. It's good to be back, I think we all deserve some downtime. Has Tertius Domain been moved to ours? Not quite, it'll be done soon, you needn't concern yourself further with it. In the meantime, we have full access to teleportation again. Indeed we do. We can also freely travel to nations on Thanors. There's no theoretical vi a reason we couldn't visit Renthnor as well, but forging those links would be politically volatile. I feel like we have enough places to visit anyways. We're juggling a lot. And to add one more thing, Simon, please speak to me when you can. I will, but hopefully there will be no, no near crises in the future. In fact, we have one additional advantage. The work with Wendis didn't require use of the entire shard. The remainder's been broken into appropriately sized pieces. Ooh, I get to start assigning those now. Does that mean what I think it means? Come and speak with me as soon as you can. Okay, there's a lot of things to do here, but... My name has been Rebellions. This has been The Last Sovereign. And on the next episode, we have a lot to fucking do, apparently, in this next free roam segment. There are so many choices. I have no fucking clue where to begin. So, anybody who has ideas, uh, be sure to leave a comment. Because, I, even just right here, I see things to talk to that I, that don't look familiar to me. So, there's a lot to do. I don't know how many episodes this is going to be, but probably a couple. That or I'm going to be getting... All, that or the next episode is going to be very interesting. Um, anyways, I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. So, that's everything so far. <clears throat> well, wasn't that something? 
As I indicated, and at the time of speaking, I have not yet recorded the next part of this, so expect a delay on that, because I want to know what parts you guys are most interested to see in this next free roam segment. I literally make no bones about it, so pitch your ideas out there and I'll run with whichever order of events I enjoy the sound of the most. Obviously, if it comes down to it, I'll just choose myself, but I'd like to give the opportunity for my audience to get involved again. Sue me. Anyways, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.